Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today we're going to be testing out the all new PlayStation 5 controller, otherwise known as the DualSense controller, with the Raspberry Pi 4. Now, I really wanted to see if this would pair up over Bluetooth and work with the Raspberry Pi 4 running RetroPie. And that's what we're going to be testing out in this video. Now, if it does pair up, I'm sure there are some features with the DualSense that won't work with the Raspberry Pi 4, like the new haptics, the adaptive triggers, and even the trackpad on the front of the controller. But in time, developers could get that working. But this video is more about, will it even pair up with the Raspberry Pi 4? Can we map the controls and play some retro games with the new DualSense controller? Now, I will admit, this controller is a bit pricey. It's coming in at $69 right now, and it was released before the PS5 was even on the shelves. And like a lot of other people out there, I haven't even been able to get a pre-order in for the PS5, but I still wanted to pick this controller up to test it out with other devices, like Windows, Linux, Android, and obviously the Raspberry Pi. I haven't even seen the DualSense controller in real life, never mind hold it, and I do have to admit something, when I first saw this, when it was first announced, I was not a big fan of this controller. But after a little while, I started warming up to it, and I have to say, it looks a lot better in real life, it definitely has some heft to it, and it feels like it's built really well. So yeah, this is looking like a really nice controller here, and it should be at that $70 price tag. So in this video, we're going to see if it works with the Raspberry Pi 4 running RetroPie. And by the way, I'm running a Raspberry Pi 4, 4 GB model. I have a 64 GB micro SD card with RetroPie installed. I did update the RetroPie setup script from within RetroPie, and that's the only thing that I've done here. There's no special drivers or anything like that that I have installed on my build. And we're not going to be connecting this over USB. We're going to be connecting this over Bluetooth. And I believe the way we put this into pairing mode is hold the PlayStation button and the share button at the same time. Okay, so here we are with RetroPie. I do have a keyboard and mouse plugged in. It's just a wireless keyboard. And I have mapped the keyboard so I can navigate the settings because what we're going to need to do is pair the controller and then set the controller up from the controller configuration inside of RetroPie. So I'm going to go ahead and try this just like we would with any other Bluetooth controller. We're going to head over to the RetroPie settings and go into the Bluetooth settings. Now I'm going to put the DualSense controller into pairing mode. I'll hold the PlayStation button and the share button at the same time. Both LED indicators on the controller are going to start rapidly flashing. And now we can choose connect a Bluetooth device from the Bluetooth settings inside of RetroPie. It's going to scan for all of the Bluetooth devices in my area and it's probably going to be a big list. And once the list populates, I'm going to look through here for a wireless controller because that's the only one I have in pairing mode right now. And I'm going to choose this option. The next screen is going to ask me what kind of pairing mode I want to set it up with. No input, no output is what I'm going to choose. And it looks like we got an error, but the lights are solid on the DualSense controller, so I believe it is paired with the Raspberry Pi 4. But now we need to configure the controller, make sure it's really paired. We're going to back out of this menu, back into the Emulation Station menu, and press Start on our controller or keyboard, whatever we have paired to navigate the system right now. I keep pressing the wrong button, so Start. We'll go down to Configure Input, and it's detected one controller, and it is the DualSense controller. It's showing up as a wireless controller, but that might change down the road with some development. It'll probably show up as a DualSense or a PS5 controller later on. And I'm just going to follow the on-screen prompts to map the controller in RetroPie. I'll set up my PlayStation button as my hotkey. And we now have the DualSense controller paired to our Raspberry Pi running RetroPie. So yeah, the DualSense controller does work with the Raspberry Pi 4. I mean, right out of the box, I'm going to unplug my keyboard and mouse setup here. So we just have the DualSense connected. Only controller connected to the Pi. And I'm pretty sure at this time we're not going to get the trackpad working or the haptics. But the DualSense controller does work with the Raspberry Pi 4 over Bluetooth. So let's go ahead and test this out with a few games. First up, since we're working with the PlayStation controller, we're going to go with PlayStation 1. And we'll do something easy and go with Tekken 3. So yeah, all the buttons are working just fine. If you want to use the D-pad or the analog stick, they're both set up right out of the box, so you'll have no issues there. And overall, I mean, the controller itself feels great here. I'll definitely need to get used to this controller. I mean, the layout is basically the same as any other PlayStation controller, but it does feel a bit different. After this, we're going to move on to an older game. We'll test out some PC Engine. And then finally, we'll go with Dreamcast. We'll do three games for this video. And like I mentioned, I've set this up to have my hotkey as the PlayStation button. So start in my hotkey will bring me right back into the Emulation Station menu. So here we have Aero Blaster for PC Engine, one of my favorites. 
the analog stick is working, I didn't have to do any extra setup. And this is using RetroArch in the background for the core, so as long as the controller works with RetroArch, you shouldn't have any issue. And if for some reason you get into a game and the analog stick isn't working, you can always go back into RetroArch and remap it. And finally, we have Dreamcast using the ReDream emulator, and the controller wasn't set up out of the box. I did have to go into the settings here. Just choose this controller and map each button, but it should work just fine as soon as I get all of this set up. No issues here with the DualSense controller and Dreamcast on the Raspberry Pi. So yeah, I mean, this is working great with the Pi. But there's one last thing that I want to test here. Since I paired the controller, I have not rebooted the Raspberry Pi, and I want to make sure it automatically reconnects. So we're going to do a quick reboot here. So instead of doing a reboot, I'm going to do a full shutdown and I'm going to pull the power from the Raspberry Pi. So I'm just going to press start on the controller, go to quit, and we'll shut down system. The LEDs on the DualSense controller just went out. I'm going to wait a second before I unplug the power from the Pi. And we'll get this booted back up and see if it automatically reconnects. Now obviously we'll need to turn power back on the DualSense controller when it gets booted up. But instead of doing a quick reboot, I figured I'd just do a full power kill to the Pi just to make sure everything's going to work again. So now that we're back in the emulation station, I'm just going to power the controller back up and it automatically reconnected. So yeah, I'm not seeing any issues here with the DualSense controller on the Raspberry Pi 4. This is something I've been thinking about since the announcement of the DualSense controller. Now, do I recommend going out and buy a $70 controller for the Raspberry Pi? No, I do not. But in the future, if you're ever able to get a hold of a PS5 and you got a DualSense laying around, just note that it will work with the Raspberry Pi 4. But that's pretty much it for this video. Really appreciate you watching. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And like always, Thanks for watching.